Yo, what is going on, you mushy meows? Before we get into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors, uh, Card Cavern, Trading Cards, BCW Supplies, and TC Evolutions. Links for all of them in the description below. Use code as well, GG, for a discount. Uh, today, we're playing some games with the Trevnor deck that did win Collinsville Regionals. Um, I mean, whenever any deck wins a major tournament, got to take a look at it, right? See what was going on. Um, see why it won. And it was definitely just a really strong list. Um, the trevnor deck kind of doesn't care about what your opponent's doing or playing it just tries to set up and do its own thing and then that's how it kind of wins games um and uh yeah and this list is super consistent super straightforward just four of of a lot of the copies of the cards that you need to set up and then uh you know a little bit less count of the more important cards um but enough that they won't get prized you got the 2-2 two -two melodic line really only need one of these in most games the two ace trainer just need to find one of these as well uh, one of the rest of the supporters, not as important. You don't always use them, but you need them sometimes. So you got one of those copies of those. Weakness policy, just in case you hit a uh, pesky turbo dark deck. Uh, four float stone, because you want to be mobile early on. Sometimes you need to get into the Wobbuffet. Definitely need to move your active into your Trevenor on turn two. And sometimes you need to get a float stone on your Garbodor so you can uh, have that Garbotoxin going. Uh, but like I said, fours of a lot of stuff. We got four Quick Ball, four Battle Compressor, four Via Seeker, four Ultra Ball, four Skyfield. Um, for shaman for all the key setup setup cards you got two ganger mimikyu two trevnor because you usually need one of each of those sometimes you need two trevnor you really only ever need one Gang gengar mimikyu but when you do those second you really need it um so you do play two because you don't want to prize your solo copy of it um and yeah the way the deck works is uh turn two you use melodic's uh energy grace you put three energy on your trevnor and then because you're behind in a prize card you play ace trainer put them down to three cards in hand and then you hit them with night watch you're dealing 150 damage you take two of the three cards out of their hand shuffle them into their deck uh and leaving them with minimal options usually close to no options depending on the matchup and then uh you slowly bench out your opponent or they struggle along enough to the point where they can stay in the game but they aren't able to actually compete with the 150 damage plus minus two cards every turn from the night watch and they eventually just crumble uh as you take your six prize cards and yeah that's the deck let's go ahead and get some games so i can show you guys how it works all right let's go ahead and uh get into it let's see what we're up against here we did win the coin flip so we will be opting to go first of course let's see what we draw mulligan it it's fine let's see what our opponent's playing it looks like a a straight fairy deck is it guardian that's my mulligan um can't fully tell from that but it looks like a guardian deck all right should be pretty easy no problem gonna open the shaman then we'll computer search battle compressor probably computer search battle compressor computer search for battle compressor just stretcher so we can go compressor go to a fee bass egg psychic Computer search away these two. Grab a battle compressor. <clears throat> battle compressor away. Um, I don't know. We need to get. We don't need weakness. Uh, we need two more psychics, and we probably don't need that. So get rid of those. And then we stretch it for one. Grab the fee bass. Both the active. Bench the fee bass. Dead a change. Six new cards. Um, got some options here. Go ahead and propagate. Quick ball away the egg. We're just gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the Trevnor right now, <clears throat> and then we're pretty much set up. We ultra ball for the dude, do the thing, and then we do the lock. And yeah, go ahead pass over to our opponent. Set up pretty cleanly here. I uh, didn't have to overextend very much at all. The bass is already out. Trevnor is ready to go. Just need to go Ultra Ball away. Egg plus top deck or egg plus Lele, depending on if we want to keep our top deck or not. And then uh, the best Melodic. Use the ability, get those three energy onto our Trevnor, and then uh, play Ace Trainer. Save the maybe put the Skyfield in play, depending on what our opponent does. Maybe put the Float Stone. This looks like it might be a little. I mean, if they can just go Fairy Song a couple times and then start hitting us with the storm that could be maybe guardian's gonna be a pretty tough matchup we'll see definitely probably need another trevnor which is prize so we need to get access to that other trevnor i think we're gonna need him um 
Having Skyfield out before we do what's it called sounds pretty good to me. Propagate, keeping the Skyfield because they probably play a lot of power plants or silent labs seems pretty good as well. Grab the melodic ball. And there it is, the energy grace. And this is it. This is the combo. This is the deck. Our opponent draws a prize card. We get to use Ace Trainer. Put our opponent to three cards and then we hit him for 150 and take away two random cards of the three cards that they got. And that's it. That's the whole story. All right, we got some compressors. Gonna thin out the deck some more, even. Get rid of Wob and the Muck line, I guess. We probably don't need that whole thing. Compressor again. Get rid of. We want the Feebas. Want the Gengar Mimikyu. Probably just want access to these through um, <clears throat> Via Seeker, more so than anything. I'll just get rid of these three. Sure. We're going to Ultra Ball away these two. Do a setup. We'll bench the Ditto as well. Yeah, do ourselves a setup here. Bench. Set up for six. Let's see what we get. Maybe do another setup if we feel like it. Uh, I don't think we really have to do another setup here. Retreat. We could attach to the Gengar Mimikyu. So I think I'm going to go Propagate, Quick Ball it away, Gengar Mimikyu, attach to Gengar Mimikyu. I don't see a reason not to do that here. Get him set up ready to go. Um, just in case we do need him. Bench him. Attach. And... Could Pale Moon. Nah, Nightwatch is definitely better. I was like, thinking, eh, could Pale Moon. Doesn't seem very good though. <clears throat> 150. Take two random cards. Got the Tate and Liza and the Scoop Up. See what these... We got the top deck plus that random card. So we have, we can Ace Trainer again next turn though. If we have to. It is a Scoop Up. It is a Heads. Alright, so they're already going to be swinging with the Kaleida Storm. It's still going to be awkward for them though. Because if they leave Energy active, we can just Pale Moon. If they move all the energy to the bench, we just Night Watch and then they're stuck in the active again. So we'll see what they go for here. It's 150. They are going for that. They're going to leave it all active. Oh no. So we are just going to go with the Pale Moon GX then. Um, I think we may as well Mallow and Lana here as well. Now and Lana. Um, let me give up a sky field. I'll get rid of that. Because I do want to set up here. Draw some more cards, more options on the next turn. Really just want to get that Feebass into play, I feel like, more than anything. No Feebass, that's fine. Retreat. Attach here. And Pale Moon GX. They do have one attacker set up, but that's all they have set up. So we Pale Moon, we discard all of their energy, and now they get knocked out coming back into our turn. Um, we also went with it this route, and there's this concession. That's it. That's Trevnor. Quick, easy dub for our opponent's Guardian deck. At first, I was a little bit nervous. I think if they had gone with more fairy songs and spreading out their energy, we would have been a lot closer, a lot, a lot tougher, but uh, went a little bit aggressive there. Punished them with the Pale Moon. Easy dub. All right, back at it. Looking to ruin another person's uh, fun on the PTGO ladder. We did lose this coin flip, but this is where uh, Gengar Mimikyu gets involved. That is going to be our optimal turn one attacker now. Just to say, all right, you can't play any cards from your hand. Uh, and then go from there. Uh, hand is pretty good. One is playing a rat deck. The rat deck. It's probably the rat that makes our HP zero. So this, if they ever draw out of this, this could get really bad for us. All right, there's that draw pass from our opponent. Uh, we are going to go Battle Compressor first, of course. Get rid of Egg. Um, Ace Trainer Psychic, I think. We're just gonna get Gengar Mimikyu, get him into the active. We got four Float Stone in the deck. I mean, we could Guzma it into the active. That seems a little bit unnecessary, though. All right. Um, bring the egg back. Gotta go get my man, uh, Gengar Mimikyu. Is in here. And then egg back again. Put the Skyfield in play. Ultra Ball for a Shaman, I guess. We could have actually like not got Ace Trainer yet into the discard pile instead of got a Sycamore into the discard pile or the Juniper. Or we could actually Lele for Juniper instead. Um, Lele for Juniper now. Save the Lele to potentially use it to get the Ace Trainer. We just Lele for Juniper now. It seems fine to me. We don't need to go super hard on the first turn um at all 
So, but I guess this means maybe I could have used Mal and Lana or Guzma instead. Actually, I probably should have gone with the Shaman because then, then I could have gone like Lele for Mal and Lana to move this Grimer instead, uh, in case that's the only way I was able to find a way to move it. Got the Float Stone, so that will also do just fine. Still not quite there as far as the combo goes. <clears throat> We're getting close. We're getting close. We need the Feebas. There he is. Throw this there. Can Ultra Ball away. I mean, Muck seems kind of good um, with the way the game is currently going. So, we do have the Stretcher in the deck, though. So, I'm going to go like this. Get rid of those. Grab myself the Trevnor, because we do need that. Bench him. Set up again. Uh, we got the Melodic. We got the access to Age Trainer. We just need two more Psychics. We don't have a way to retreat the Gengar Mimikyu yet, but we'll hopefully find a way. So we're going to get rid of uh, two more Psychics, I believe, right? How many did I One in there, so I could go up to three. Uh, also get ourselves access to... I mean, all this stuff could be useful. Probably just one of the supporters. Get rid of... Probably the Malon Lana. I like the Malon Lana. I like having access to the Malon Lana. Okay. Get rid of all that. Treat. And then, uh, House GX with the Gengar Mimikyu. Our opponent can't play any cards from their hand, so they can't do anything. They're going to draw, they're going to pass, and then we're going to combo them and win the game. All here. Um, I actually don't want to put this in play because then they could theoretically Guzma whatever it has on it, then I can't float on it. So we're going to bench this, use the Energy Grace for three. Onto one of the Trevnors. Give our opponent that prize card, but we don't really care. We do want to set up Muck, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive with discarding the Muck, actually. We can get it back, but uh, it's probably unnecessary to be as aggressive as it was. There's the Ace Trainer. We do have a lot of draw outs here. Okay. Do need to find a way to move our Gengar Mimikyu, but we can thin out six cards of our deck with these Battle Compressors. Get rid of, like, Gengar Mimikyu, Wob, um, Buzma. Do it again. Get rid of weakness policy. Keep the ace trainer, I think. Get rid of... Uh, maybe we do want to try and set up the garb even if we could. So then get rid of this. Um, ace trainer. And the game's probably not going to be too long from here on out. Maybe we don't need the garb line anymore. So what if we could get rid of garb and ditto instead? All right, let's go like that. Let's see how this goes. Gonna go like that. Set up for three. See what we grab. Okay, we got the computer search. I uh, got a fee bass as well. So we can go bench fee bass. Set up for two. See what we get first. Because um, I do want to get the muck out as well. So set up for two. Okay, so we can't do both. So we're gonna have to go egg back to hand. Computer search. Get rid of these two. I don't think there's anything really left in the deck. Get ourselves that float stone. We can't get the muck out as well. I probably shouldn't have discarded the muck off the Ultra Ball when I did. That's on me, though. And then here we go. Night Watch. Knock out the Rattata. Uh, we got rid of a Via Seeker and an Ariados from our opponent's hand. They only have the Ditto to work with. It would have been really nice if we had the muck to completely shut our opponent down. Um, but I was a little bit... I don't know why I Ultra Ball lay muck. Should have just kept on. I was like, eh, I have a Stretcher in the deck. I'll probably find it. Didn't find the Stretcher. Got punished. Uh, but that's what I get for playing a little bit too aggressively, right? All right, but it's fine. There we go. Knock out the Rotata. Two-card hand for our opponent. There's the frowny face. I feel like that means they don't have anything. And there's the victory. That's going to do it for this video on the Trevnor deck, guys. Short and sweet. Showed you guys how to pull off the combo. I didn't even play it optimally, so go ahead and play with yourselves. Figure out how it works. It's pretty straightforward, though. Kind of just do what I did in these games, and you'll be all set. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.